Hi, my name is Stephen Allen Green, and I'm an addict, a junkie. But I'm not addicted to alcohol or drugs. I'm addicted to stand-up comedy. I get high on the laughter. This is what I've been telling audiences for years. And though I play around with this lofty notion, there are people with some very serious drug and alcohol problems. This year, I've decided to do something about it. So please, come along with me, and I'll show you what I've been doing, and maybe you can help. Turning Point is Scotland's leading charity dealing with drug and alcohol addiction, with centers throughout the region, including Glasgow, Aberdeen, and Edinburgh. It was um, Princess Diana who, who conducted the launch. She came here, she spent a lot of time with the residents who were in this building, and then she came along to our lunch to help us launch the charity in Scotland. She, really, she did lots of things like that that got us into places in Scotland. She literally opened doors for us. Scotland has a really bad problem per head of population, particularly in the cities. Glasgow has somewhere between 12 and 15,000 intravenous drug users. Now that's a big number, and if you, if you actually look where they're concentrated, they're concentrated in areas of poverty, of deprivation, where drugs sometimes aren't the only problem. Very often, they're not the only problem they meet. They have dropped out of school. They may have come from dysfunctional families. They're in communities that aren't very pleasant places to be. Uh, and they don't have aspirations. They don't have hopes. And that's what we aim to get back. Not just to get them drug free, but to give them the hope that there's something more to do. Simple, but it's no simple. It's hard to stay off drugs. I tried to commit suicide. I had got to jail and my mum came down and got me out of jail and then I tried to commit suicide in our house and she brought me down here for the first time and I got two kids straight away. What does judging do? It certainly doesn't attract anyone. And if they fail or they do something badly, how do they come back then if you're a judgmental organisation? Because they feel they, fa they failed again at something else. Before I got involved in Turning Point, my life was chaos, total chaos. So there's an example of something where we would really like to pilot something with fundraised money to say it's not enough just to get these folk off the street. The next bit is to help them stay off, help them get a life again. Tony Blair came to visit us just recently uh, and he came to look at our turnaround service. Turnaround works with women drug users who are caught in the criminal justice system. They do the loop. They go from work in the streets, using drugs, into the court, into jail. And we tried to break into that loop and give them alternatives. And he came along um, to hear about the service and to meet with a woman who used the service. And that was a real boost for them that, that you know, somebody that they see on television a lot came and sat with them and listened to them and wanted to learn from how things had been with them. I don't know, I just want to be drug free, happy and content. My mind is totally clear in what I'm going to do with my life from now on. But I need to take it a day at a time, obviously. Edinburgh is home to the largest arts festival in the world. Throughout the month of August, the fine architecture and romantic views are utilized by the Edinburgh Festival, the Fringe Festival, the Comedy Festival, the Book Festival, the Television Festival, and the International Film Festival. That's a lot of festivals. A short list of some of the names who have performed here are John Cleese, Dudley Moore, Stephen Fry, Eddie Izzard, Emma Thompson, and Billy Connolly. Recent celebrity sightings include Sean Connery, Michael Keaton, and Steve Martin. You can see why they all come here. Edinburgh has been called the Athens of the North, and what a beautiful city it is. In the midst of all this media mayhem, I decided to put something back into the local community. And so I produced a series of comedy benefits for Turning Point. We called it, appropriately enough, High on Laughter. And it took place here in Edinburgh at the beautiful Queen's Hall. Time to meet our next guest now. And the appropriate place, of course, would have to be a bar. But since we're four flights up here, we don't have access to a bar. So it's Quigger's Bar to say hello to George Went Actor. It's Norm from Cheers. Hi. Welcome to the programme. Hello. Great to have you here. Uh, what you. would you say to a beer, Norm? Um, 
uh, hello, sailor, new in town, <laughs> yeah. or something like that. Something like that. Can yeah. we have uh, two of your finest, please, landlord? Absolutely. Um, we've got some nuts up, here and olives. Up, it's a Thank fine you. establishment. This. What are you doing here? I'm uh, actually going to be performing at the festival uh, in Edinburgh. Uh, there's a charity uh, event at 10:30 p.m. on uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Queen's, Hall. Queen's Hall. Yeah, and it's uh, kind of a. It's going to have some of the most fantastic stand-ups and uh, comedy acts in the uh, festival. Jack, take my way, that's a highway, that's a In those days, the life expectancy was like 30! <laughs> I see your soul. Yes, I'm feeling horny tonight. <laughs> this drunk since I was pregnant with you. I tried to keep gaining weight so I couldn't dance anymore, but God gave me a gift. All right. <laughs> Johnny Cash doing Pinball Wizard. Ever since I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. From Soho down to Brighton, I must have played them all. But I ain't seen nothing like him in any amusement hall. Plays a mean pinball. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm gonna do one more thing. I've done with my set in my career. You guys better be very fucking audience. My head is like this. I would have left show business a long time ago. You're a lovely couple. Where you're from? from space. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> The response from performers, the media, and the public was phenomenal. And while all the profits went to charity, a good time was certainly had by all. Yes! Give me a round of applause, you did great! We'll be doing it again this year. And we'd like for you to participate in any way you can.